everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I have a book haul as well as a few things from Blick uh, that I ordered and just came. So I'll be showing you those today. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And for those of you who come back to watch my videos, I appreciate you so much. I think I'll go ahead and start with the books that I received from Book Depository. The first one being the ever so popular Asian book by Rita Berman. And I know there's been a lot of thorough flip throughs on this, but I figured I would show a few pages. I love all these illustrations. They're so cute. Look at that. Aww. So yeah, I'm excited to work in this book, figuring out what mediums I want to use, but definitely, definitely excited to start this book. And that is Rita Berman's latest. The next one is, let me try to pronounce it, Nachschwarmer by Sarah Richter. And I have the Dunkelbunt by her as well. And I thought this was a fantastic book for the Halloween season. We have a This Book Belongs To. And here is the first illustration. There's quite a few skulls and Halloween-y things in here. Have a unicorn. Another unicorn and another unicorn. Looks like we have a howling wolf. And, oh, huh, yes, as it says. And a Corvus. And Pegasus. This is Siren's Treasure. All Shall Fade is the name of this one. And then we have the Metallicorn. Demonicorn. Reaper's Cats. We have Bat's Moon. Moonlight Companions. Bedtime. <laughs> that one's cute. We have some skulls. Blood Lily. Death Wisdom. Luna Moth. This is Crematoria. And Moon Queen. Sinister Wings. Look at that one. A Glance of Evanescence. This next page is super cute. I think this is going to be the one that I do first. And this just says Halloween. Definitely want to do this one first. What do you all think? Are there any pages in here that are sticking out to you all? A cat named Salem. And then Batsy. And Magic Rats. And then Christmas Dragons. And the end. <laughs> that one's kind of cool too. This says that this book is also available on Etsy and through her website, Instagram, and Facebook. But again, I did get it from Book Depository, and there's also all of the illustrations on the back of the book. So yeah, super stoked to get this book. And I'll leave the links for any and all of these in case you're interested. 
The next one I have is Mysterious Mansion by Daria Song. And this has a real pretty gold embossing. And this is a very interesting book. It says, you are invited to the mysterious mansion, a house filled with exciting missions and many secrets. Each of the 28 captivatingly enchanting rooms you are about to explore houses great magic and trickery. If you can break the spell and complete the mission in each room using your imagination and wit, you will be allowed to safely leave the mysterious mansion. Good luck. The moment you turn the page, you will open Pandora's box to the door of dimensions. You must quickly complete the mission revealed to you by the crystal ball. Otherwise, you may not be able to go forward and will be caught in the box forever. And down here, it says, quickly complete the drawing of the mansion by connecting the dotted line inside the crystal ball to escape from the box. And here is the crystal ball and it's a maze. I'll bring you up closer to see if you could see the lines. So you have to do the maze. Beautiful illustrations. And so you get activities with each page and I thought that was interesting. And some completed pages here, meet the gatekeeper endless stairs and hidden keys and in the back I believe there is a page for solutions which if you want this book I'm going to do it real quick so it doesn't give it away but I just thought this was a, a beautiful book Lots of fun little activities to do, beautiful pages to color. What do you all think? Is this something you would be interested in? Who's there? You escape the room of mirrors out into a terrace. As you look around the grounds, you get the feeling that you are being watched. Is somebody out there? How many watchful eyes can you count? Very cool. Who's there, it says. It's a rather thick and large book, so if you would like a full flip through, please let me know. But I did want to show some of it so you could see some of the illustrations and activities. Here's the beautiful page, the color, secret door. There she is. So yeah, just think this is really beautiful. There's some cutouts in here. I think this would make a great gift for someone. I remember loving activity books as a kid, so I think that's also bringing some nostalgia. But yeah, super cool book. And again, if you'd like a full flip through, we can do that. Just let me know in the comments. And then by Daria Song, I got The Time Garden. And this has a nice flip page in the beginning with stars. It's a to and from. The Time Garden, a magical journey and coloring book. So we have lots of places she's entering that is related to time, as the title stated, Time Garden. Probably have to break this spine before I color in it. There's a start anyway. So yeah, I won't go through every page, but there's lots of really 
cool pages in here. I love Daria Song's illustrations. Lots of foliage, buildings. Lots of cool double page spreads if you like those. Here it says create your own bakery or you have one that's already done if you just wanted to color that. So yeah, this is Time Garden by Daria Song and it's also got a gold leaf on the front of it. The next one I have seen so many people that have gotten this book and I have to admit that originally when I started coloring I was not intrigued too much by mandalas until I saw this book and I kept putting it in my cart and then um, moving it down and not purchasing it because oh, oh I don't know about a mandala book but the more I saw people coloring in this book the more I wanted to try it. And I just think it's super unique to some of the mandalas that I've seen. I love some of the animals in here. Anyway, I know there's a lot of flip flu, excuse me, flip throughs uh, on this, so I won't get too detailed on it, but this was definitely on my list to get for a while just I was hesitant and then I finally since I was getting these other books on bookdepository.com I thought let me go ahead and get it so I'm excited to start a page or so in here hopefully by the end of this month so yeah that's nature mandalas and I won't try to pronounce the name because I know I will wreck it <laughs> and I know that book can be purchased um, several ways so it's not just through book depository and then this is the last book for this round I do have more depository books coming but I figured I would do it in stages so the videos aren't too long and this one I translated it is four seasons coloring book beautiful days of green ivy there's the color uh, cover again And I probably should have translated the author, but I did not. But it's such a beautiful book, and it is going through the seasons, and it does have, have this part in English, where it has spring, summer, autumn, and winter, and it tells you what pages they're on. So it's going through the seasons, and it has a colored page, or if you wanted to color it your own way. Just some really, really cute illustrations. And I do love the way that they've colored them. Super cute. And not too terribly detailed or large illustrations, so I thought that would be nice. There's another landscape, and there's how it's been colored in a more muted tones. This one, they already give you the background on there already, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, this is a nice thick book, lots of little illustrations, and I thought this would be neat to have. There's another cute one as well. There's the one to color and there's the example. And I love the feel of the front cover. Don't know how to describe it but it's just a it's just a neat cover. It's not glossy. It's not matte. There is a texture to it. But yeah so that is Four Seasons Coloring Book, Beautiful Days of Green Ivy. So that's it for the books for this round. And then I decided to get some Copic 
sketch markers, alcohol markers, and skin tones so that I could maybe find a couple of combinations here that I would want to use on my portraits because I do have a lot of coloring books that do have portraits in them. So I've been collecting some portrait water portrait watercolors, markers, pencils. So I went ahead and got that. And then I also wanted to try the Prismacolor portrait set as well. And here, if I can get it out properly. These are what we have to work with. And I thought that was a good set covering multiple skin tones. So I look forward to combining these or using separately. I do have the full premiere set, but it's nice to have them isolated as just portrait colors for me anyway, as a beginner doing portraits and coloring books. So there's that. And then I wanted to try uh, a small amount, 12 of the Derwent Light Fast. And I did give these a go already. And I can see the greatness of these. Now, whether or not I would get more than these, I'm trying to color a page in, actually, I could probably show you if you give me just a minute. In the Christmas compendium that was in my last haul, I used the Copics for the skin tone, and I'm using the Light Fast for the whole page. I'm going to try to do the whole page in just the Light Fast so we can see how that works. So let me know what you think about what I purchased and if you have any of these supplies, if you recommend any of them yourself. And I will be sure to link in the description um, all of the products that I did get and hopefully look forward to showing you this as a finished page for the end of October. And then also one that I have been working on, and I'll just give you a peek, is in this Flying Wonders book also. I believe I either got this on Amazon or Book Depository. But this is what this one is looking like. And there's some gold shimmery there in the center and over here on the sides with watercolor and the rest was done with pencil, with Prismacolor pencils. So yeah, so I've been busy working on a few projects, getting in some new supplies. I'm hoping that once my book depository books are finished coming that I probably will go on a no buy on books for a while. I do have Rooms of Wonder. Um, in Amazon as a pre-order and then I had one more but might escape me at the moment oh, I wish I could remember I have looked at some of the mythographic but again I was just gonna wait for the book depository books to come and that should pretty much fill up a shelving system that I have with my coloring books on top so I think I could probably take a break from supplies and then just get to coloring. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. And as always, please, if you like the videos, do um, click the like button and subscribe if you're willing to subscribe. Looking forward to, su to some interesting content here in the next couple of months with lots of cool things. So stay tuned. And you all take care. Happy coloring. Bye-bye now.